Hello everybody and welcome to part 2 of our Scratch Clicker series. If you haven't watched part 1 yet, the link will be in the description and pinned comment. Today we'll be making a button for the shop, adding items and descriptions for each item, and then adding an AFK detector. We have two costumes, one for when it's closed and one for when it's open. And when we start the project, we want it to be closed. So when clicked, go to X190 Y136 and switch costume to closed. Now when this sprite is clicked, if the costume number equals one, so if it's closed, We want it to switch costume to open, else if the costume number equals 2 or open, we want it to switch its costume to close. Now we're going to have a smooth effect, so glide 0.5 seconds too. And for the first one we'll say 2x100, and for the second one we'll say glide 0.5 seconds to x 190 And now we're going to make two new messages, one called show. And a second one called hide. And if costume number equals one, show, else hide. Okay, now let's just test it out. As you can see, we have a smooth shop engine. Now all we have to do is add the items. So we have five costumes. The first one is black, and the last four are the items. And when I receive hide, we are going to hide. And when I receive show, we are of course going to show. Now, when clicked, we're going to make two new lists. The first one will be called points needed. These are basically the prices. And the second one will be called descriptions. These are the descriptions of our items. We will delete all of descriptions and all of points needed and then we will add description to descriptions and repeat this four times. Of course you're going to actually have to write a description but just for an example I'm just going to write description. And we're going to hide because we're working with clones and we're going to switch costume to black. And go to X 160Y135 and repeat four times. So, how many clones you want. Next costume and create a clone of myself and change Y by minus 80 so they don't all stack up on each other. After we are done with this, we will switch costume to blank once more. Now let's test it out. As you can see, our items show up when we click the shop. Okay. Now we're going to add the prices. So add 25 to points needed. And then we're going to add 152 points needed of course you can change this if you want but these are my prices and then add 500 and 10,000 okay now let's actually code the items for this we will need a when this sprite clicked so when this sprite is clicked if our score is bigger than our item of points needed, so we're going to say item costume number minus one of points needed because black is also a costume but it doesn't count because it's not an item and at the end of this we're also going to say minus one because if it is exactly the score we want it to also work 
after we have done this we're going to change score by item costume number minus one of points needed times minus one so it subtracts the price from our points okay so now we're going to do our two if blocks so we can actually change the score when we buy this item so two if blocks if three is bigger than and if two is smaller than and in the second circle just put costume number after we've done this we're going to change a variable by costume name and your costume name should be how much you want the score to go up so i'm just going to do change click points by costume name and make a new variable called points per second and then change points per second by costume name the reason we have two is because we have two different types of items Okay, now we're going to write the description. So forever, when I start as a clone, if I am touching the mouse pointer, it is going to say, item, Costume number minus one of descriptions. The minus one is the same reason we did minus one before. And else we're going to say nothing. And I'm just going to hide points per second. And now as you can see, it writes our description when we go on them. And I'm just going to buy one of the power-ups here. So I bought the first one. And now our points go up by two. Okay, so for our points per second to work, we're going to add a new code. We're going to say when clicked, forever, and before forever, we're going to set points per second to zero, so we start with nothing, and forever we're going to change score by points per second, and we're going to do this every one second. Another thing I want to add is an AFK detector. So if you're away from the keyboard for 10 minutes and not clicking anything, you get kicked out. So when clicked, forever, if then, get out two of the if thens. If the mouse is down, reset the timer. And if the timer equals 600 seconds, so 10 minutes. Is going to stop everything in the project okay now let's try our project out as you can see we can click and once we get 25 points we have enough for a power up or an item and I'm just gonna buy it here as you can see it subtracted it from our score and now our points go up by more and our high score is also working pretty good now we can also buy other power-ups and yeah till next time